G'day legends, my name's Tom Scholl. I'm a former professional cricketer and the founder of Cricket Mentoring. Thanks a lot for watching this video. In today's video, I'm working with Perth first grade wicketkeeper batsman Joel Curtis, um, who's an excellent young player. I've been working with him for a few years and I'm challenging him with the swinger ball um, for, so for, against some pace. And then later on we do some spin, just trying to really get him in the contest, working on his mindset and also challenging his technique and allowing him to really problem solve what, what's going on. So let's get into it and I hope you enjoy this video. As as you're like thinking about your situation, as your post on Insta said, you're not out of form, you're just out of runs. And like you're not even that many out of runs. Like you've got to start every innings. You've walked out, you've hit the ball in the middle, you're playing well. So I think it's really important that you don't get too negative and you just use it as hunger, motivation. That when you do get it in, when you do get a chance, that you just cash in. Because if you get two hundreds in the next two games or two in the next four, you'll look back and go, really good start to the year. You're really good first half of the year. You've been playing well. So yes, you could have done things differently and had a, a score or two by now, but you're still batting well. You're still playing well. So it's so important that just use that frustration, that energy, that um, emotion to your benefit rather than let it get you down. Because most people go, oh, I'm struggling, I'm struggling. And then they dwell, they get upset, and they get then they start batting with baggage. You've been playing so nicely, Hitting the ball as well as well as anyone in the comp, you just got to keep that mentality. Yeah. 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 I agree. Yep. Good. So just let's do it. Get in the contest. Right. Red ball. No cover. Three slips. Gully. Hey. Love that. If you're hitting the ball there, you're playing nicely. I'm going to extend my run up so you go through your process. Good batting. Nice and clear. Flex, relax, reset, refocus. Make sure you're always hitting and then your eyes are following the ball. Don't keep your head at your feet. Shut up, boy. Lovely jolly. Thoughts? A little bit. Yeah, still play it all right, but keep managing your head. Yeah, boy. Nice. This ball's elite, eh? Shot, boy. Quality. Head down the wicket, try not let it go across too much. Right arm round. Good batting. Nice. Thoughts? Yeah. Nice thing, your head was lined up well. Really good. Good area is this. Good challenge. Stay good. Been up to it so far. All right, listeners, I'm going to turn it around and swing it in. In swinger. You know it was coming? Well played. So close. This swinger ball is so good for practicing with good players. 
really challenges them, makes them move late, and it behaves like a cricket ball. It's so good. Shot, boy. Good batting. Brilliant. Brilliant jump. Happy? Great shot. Yes. Brilliant. The next phase of that is to try and get it over there. Go even further, but that's awesome. Batting jump. Excellent. Good. Where are you scoring off this bowler? Because you're obviously managing your risk, you're playing well, you're trying not to play outside your eye line, you're doing a lot of good things, but you'll still need scoring options when they miss. Yeah. So you don't need to be extravagant, but it's just where do you score? Yeah. Like you face this, you still have to be able to score. Good players score off more balls. So you're batting beautifully, but I want you four front of your mind is how am I scoring? How am I getting up the other end? How am I getting a two or a four? Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Nice. Good. Shot, charm. Wee. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Last one. Good. Well done. Well, legends, what did you take out of this video? What are the key points? What did you learn? Um, have you had some of these issues yourself? Can leave a comment below. We're going to be hanging out in the comments and trying to answer as many questions as we can and get back to as many comments as we can. So lo I'd love to hear what you thought of the video and what you took out of it. Cheers, guys.